Hi everyone. We're back again today to tell another Tony story, uh, all part of Monaghan County Libraries, um, the Sensory Stories program, which I am thrilled to be part of. And Tony is so happy to be telling you his stories. Today we're going to do a story about Tony going to a party. So I know probably in, since COVID, there has been as many parties as you would have gone to before. And things are a little bit different now, but hopefully things are getting better and we'll all get back to going to our parties again. So today, let's listen about how Tony gets on when he goes to the party. Okay? Now. Are you ready? Tony wakes up and opens his eyes. He hears mummy calling. She has a surprise. Tony! Tony, look what came. It was in the post box and it has your name. Oh, Tony's excited and he opens it to see. It's a birthday invitation, Mum, just for me. It's from Henry the Hare, his friend from next door. It's on next Friday and he's going to be four. The party is on in a kid's play zone where it's kind of noisy and balls are thrown. Parties are not really Tony's thing, especially when everyone starts to sing. He doesn't like it when people start to sing. For it's just it's not people's voices or anything. He just doesn't like the noise of everybody singing. And that's okay. Remember what he does when he doesn't like things too loud? He goes into his shell, isn't it? <gasps> Mum sees Tony begin to fret and says, it would be great, Tony, I just bet. You can always bring your special flashcards and use them whenever things get too hard. So he has these special key rings with little pictures on them and they can, if he doesn't feel like talking, he can show the card and say, maybe he looks sad or maybe he's happy or maybe he's a little bit afraid. So he can show the cards to tell someone how he's feeling if, if he doesn't feel like finding the words or can't talk about it. So it can be hard for Tony to find the right word and he needs extra help if he wants to be heard. The flashcards are there to give Tony a voice and they come to his aid when he needs to make a choice. Mum puts Tony's cards on a special keyring. They're easy for him to get at. It's a very handy thing. It's the day of the party and Tony's excited. Now he is delighted that he was invited. They look at the day plan and Tony is glad. First he goes to the party, then stories with dad. Do you remember in the other stories, Tony had a day plan? So when he sees what's happening next on his plan, then he isn't afraid. It makes him feel nice and safe to know what's happening next. In the car, mum goes through each party rule. It will help at the party, just like it does at school. You must listen, share, and always play well, and try your best to stay out of your shell. She smiles and says, don't forget the last one. The most important rule of all is have loads of fun. Mom has filled Tony's yellow backpack with his special flask cards and a tasty food snack. She knows Tony is fussy about his food. What's there to, there to eat at the party might upset his mood. Because Tony, he has another book actually called he's Trying New Food. Because sometimes he can be a little bit fussy and that's okay. Because sometimes he doesn't like the way something feels in his mouth, the texture. And sometimes maybe it smells too strong. So that's why he can be fussy about his food. So mum knows what he likes, so she packs it for him. She also reminds him when he's walking around, oh, oh that he should never ever eat food from the ground. Tony knows eating from another table is not allowed. Mum smiles to herself. She is feeling so proud. She's so proud of Tony going off to his party himself. So proud of him. They arrive at the party right on time. Tony sees Henry, who has already started to climb. He anxiously looks over at Mum, but she smiles at him and puts up her thumb. She's kind of saying, it's okay, Tony. Off you go now and play. You'll be okay. 
Tony runs off to join his friends, climbing and moving all around the bend. The children's play zone is like a maze where there's lots to explore in different ways. Tony is having so much fun, he forgets the noise and he just wants to run. Then Tony asks to play hide and seek. Come on, I count to ten, Tony. Don't you peek. They have lots of fun playing Tony's game. Now he's delighted that he came. It's Henry's turn to make a plan. Let's play tag. Catch me if you can. But Tony does not want to play. And he feels the urge to run away. Tony thinks about what mum would say if she saw him sad and refusing to play. So he's thinking about mum's voice now in his mind and it says, it's important that everyone gets a turn. You know this is something you have to learn. Just try a new game and you'd never know. You might just love it if you give it a go. Tony joins in and tries very hard. He didn't even need to use his special flashcard. They run and they jump into the balls and they stay in there until they hear their mum's calls. Tony really doesn't want to get out and he tries very hard not to pout. You know, it could always be, it's always hard when the fun is over, isn't it? When we have to go home, but that's what happens. He tells his mum about all the fun and says, oh, I wish it wasn't all done. But mum reminds Tony about the plan. You've been to the party, so now you can. <gasps> Tony thinks for a while and stops looking sad. It's time to go home and have stories with Dad. Tony says, thank you, Henry. That really was great. Now it's time to head home before it gets late. When they get home, Tony checks his day plan. Can he have stories with dad now? Yes, he can. Remember, because what's on the day plan is what happens for Tony. So he tried very hard at the party. He played with his friends. He tried a new game and he followed all the rules. So he, mom was very proud of him and he did so, so well. So thank you for listening again today and we'll have another story again soon, okay? Bye-bye, everyone.